Hello everyone, my name is Dev Kulkarni and I'd like to take you through some videos that I have for you. Uh, the first one is related to a migration, a migration between Team Center Enterprise and uh, Team Center UA and this is a typical environment that most people who have been using Team Center Enterprise all these years would like to move to Team Center Unified using the eCube platform. Uh, so I would like to show you some of the tools that are used in terms of data mappings, in terms of being able to automate and create batches of data, because obviously you would have a lot of data that you would like to move from Team Center Enterprise into Team Center UA. So let's take a look. Okay, so what you see here is uh, Team Center Enterprise. So this is the source system that we intend to migrate. And we are trying to look at the uh, engineering bomb over here. Uh, you would know that, you know, the engineering bomb would also have its own technical documents associated with various parts. And that is what this screen is actually showing you. This is what we want to migrate into Team Center Unified, but you know, as you know, there are complexities, the data representation is different, and you would want to do a lot of mapping of the data. And that's where eCube TM or Transformation Modeler which is a vertical available on the EQ platform, uh, helps the user to create those mappings very much visually as you can see on the screen. And you might want to take the attributes of each object in Team Center Enterprise and map it to the destination system, Team Center Unified in this case. And uh, you could attach rules such as, you know, what if the object actually exists in the target system? What action would you want to take? Do you want to up provision it? Do you want to overwrite? And so on and so forth. So that's what is uh, being created over here. You can have complex rules as well, which is not uh, shown here, but uh, that's what it is. And this is what is consumed by the next application uh, that uh, I will be showing you about. Now over here, it is also showing the relationship mapping. Obviously the relations in Team Center and Enterprise are different from those in Team Center Unified. And uh, you can see that those relations are being mapped over here on the screen. And uh, we will then actually create these mappings which will be consumed by another application Now here what we see is the generic migration module that we have on the EQ platform. So this is something that we've come up with with many migrations that we've done with uh, customers. And uh, essentially this is something that is out of the box and what it needs is just a few uh, points that you would want to configure as to what do you want to move first, like typically you will want to use and migrate the parts. Uh, after having done that, you would want to relate those parts in order to create an e-bomb. Uh, you would then move all the technical documents into Team Center Unified and then relate those documents to the relevant parts. So essentially what we are trying to do is creation of batches. And this is a module, as I mentioned, is built on top of the eCube MI, the migration and integration product, which uh, is out of the box and with a few uh, configurations, uh, it can suit most migrations uh, that we have uh, come across. Um, the subsequent screens that you see is pretty much what is being configured in the generic migration process over here. Your creation of several batches, sequencing of those batches, you might want to multiply the number of threads. Uh, as you can see over here, you have Team Center Enterprise and Team Center Unified connections being created in the migration tool. and you can configure the number of threads. It all depends on how much data you would like to move and what's the window that's available to you to actually migrate this data. Now, this is showing the progress that's happening in the migration tool itself. And uh, you can actually monitor how much data is moving. You could probably measure the throughput that's made available to you based on the hardware that you have. And once that is completed, we 
can now see what we get in the target system in Team Center Unified. And this is the data that we just migrated into Team Center Unified. And we have all the data sets along with the, the engineering bomb. Uh, in a minute, we'll just go into the attachments or the data sets that go with this data. Here are the technical documents that have moved with this migration, the data sets, and here we're just switching to eCube MI. So this is the migration engine, and uh, like to show you the transaction that actually happened in the generic migration. So remember, generic migration is a process built on top of EQMI. And this is showing the transaction. This is the actual migration process. What you see on the screen is uh, the business process modeler that is available in EQMI. And this is the generic migration process that has been created. So this is available to you out of the box. It's intuitive and you can actually see how this logic actually flows. So you can imagine this to be like a flow chart, which is actually describing the logic, but it is actually functional. So whatever you create here is exactly what gets executed uh, by the engine. So there you are. This is uh, just a glimpse of how you might uh, migrate an e-bomb into Team Center Unified. There are many other scenarios which are related to either migration or synchronization or even integration, which I will be talking about in subsequent videos. Hope you enjoyed this one.